Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the Airfun Wave Pro. Now you can pick these up online. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on these, 80 bucks. Now on a side note, if you like what you see, they got a coupon available right now on Amazon that's gonna drop the price to 60 bucks. All right, so let's go through the specs real quick. Now these come in one color, black. These are Bluetooth version 5.3. The codex is SBC, AAC, and LDAC high-res audio. Now these feature multi-point. That means you can pair two devices at the same time. You got premium active noise cancellation. You got transparency mode and low latency gaming mode. Now you got 40 millimeter dynamic drivers. That's gonna give you great sound quality. You got five built-in mics for crystal clear phone calls. The battery life on these is 80 hours on a single charge. Now, if you turn on A and C, you're gonna get 55 hours. Now, these also feature fast charge, so five minutes of charge will give you five hours worth of playback. Now, these also featured wired connection support, which means if the battery dies, you can use a wired cable and still rock out. Now, you got your physical controls for your playback, and there's an app that's available for Android and iOS that lets you customize all of your settings. All right, so all of that for 60 bucks. Let's unbox it and see what it is. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. White shoes. I love my white Calm down. Okay. Airfun Wave Pro. Now, if you never heard of Airfun, I reviewed products from them in the past. Quality sound at affordable prices. That's what it's all about. Let's see, did I miss anything? Okay, active noise cancellation, 40 millimeter dynamic drivers. Okay, multi-point connection. The app is available for Android and iOS. And again, you can use these wired with no battery. Okay, so if the battery dies, you can still rock out. So these headphones are gonna be good all the way around. Okay, here we go. Airfun Wave Pro, 60 bucks. Okay, let's go ahead and unbox these. Now let me um, <laughs> let me keep the uh, anger levels to a minimum. Let's see, did I miss some tape? All right, Siri, calm down, calm down, Siri. Uh, you heard she called me Captain Kirk. You know what time it is, Siri. I'm quite relaxed. Uh, all right, Siri, Siri, Siri. Siri, relax. No, Siri, outside today trolling. Okay, here we go. Inside, you got your usual books and shit. Plug them and follow them. This is gonna be a carrying case. Now this is a nice hard shell carrying case. I right, shoes, calm down. Let's see, you got a little strap right here. Check the zip on this. Excellent zippage. And inside. Okay, so you got a little compartment right here. Now, this is pretty dope. It does come with the 3.5 cable for wired listening. This is gonna be a USB-A to USB tape C charging. I shoes and inspect that for quality, do some work. And now for the headphones. Now, fresh out of the box, the headphones are super lightweight. They feel exactly like a Sony set of uh, M5s. You know, that with that lightweight plastic build. Okay, so you got a little plastic. Let me go ahead and peel this off. Okay. Uh, inside, it got the right and left, so you see how to put the um, headphones back in the case. Let's shoes jump in there if she want. And here we go. Airfun Wave Pro. Now, the ear cups. Wow. The ear cups, that's the first thing that you're gonna notice. The ear cups are super soft. Look at this. Look at that. Okay, super soft ear cups, nice and lightweight. Let's do the Easter Island head test, okay? If you got one of them dome domes, okay? You're gonna fit these. Nice padding, oh, and it's the same soft padding that you get on the top and on the ear cups. I like that. I like the build quality already. Little ear fun branding. Okay, these are gonna be a button, so you got your noise cancellation, you got power on and off, volume up and down, that's also gonna double as skipping reverse tracks, answering them phone calls. 3.5 for wired listening, USB Type-C charging, and your LEDs. Now inside, you got right and left. This way you know exactly which way to put these on. The air cups do swivel and fold up. Okay, Airfun Wave Pro. All right, so let's grab a phone, pair these up, and start our usual testing. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, as usual, the first thing you wanna do when you get some new headphones or earbuds is download the app and check for a firmware update. So we got one of these, we're gonna download and get it popping. All right, so now that we finished the update, let's walk through the app. Now, it shows you the name of your headphones, 
You got the pinch of your headphones. You got your battery percentage. I'm actually wearing these right now. So I got them in normal mode. Let's try ambient sound. Okay, now it does have voice prompts. Now I'm in ambient sound mode. And I gotta admit, <laughs> I can truly hear everything. It sounds very robotic, but it does work. Okay, so we got wind noise canceling, comfort ANC, okay, and strong ANC. Now, these do sound like the ANC is gonna work because I felt that whoosh of ear being sucked out of my head. Let's go back to ambient sound mode. I do like the actual voice prompts, okay? Let's go to the settings. Okay, so here's how you're gonna update your firmware. As you can see, mine is up to date. You got a product tutorial, you got your facts, you got the earphone EQ, okay? So we got it on default sound. You got preset EQs, okay? So we got rock, pop, R&B, classical, jazz, bass boost. All right, I like that. And of course, I think we could do manual, let's see. Yep, custom EQ. All right, so we're gonna do our V pattern. I'll play with that in a minute. So we're gonna start off with default sound. Exit out of that. Now check this out. You got Bluetooth audio quality. Okay, LDAC, make sure that's clicked on. Or you can prioritize stable connection first. Now you do have game mode. That's gonna be for low latency. You can customize your controls. Okay, so tap once. I'm gonna leave volume up. Tap long press, go to the next track. Okay, customize all your buttons. Dual device connection. Okay, so this is gonna be multi-point. Okay, so we're gonna have to reset these. It said power on. It said connected. It just said connected. All right, it connected, but we're waiting for the app to reconnect. All right, there it is, app reconnected. And now we should be in multi-point mode. Let's go to, to look it up, multi-point mode right there. So I'll try two devices in a minute. Okay, we got voice wizard settings. Okay, we got to leave the voice pop on English. Why not? Exit out of that. We got automatic shutdown. I'll leave mine's on 60 minutes. Okay, and you got factory reset. Now, from the main home screen, you can turn your game mode on and off. You can hit up the EQ right there and customize your controls without having to go through the settings. Okay, simple and straightforward. All right, so now let's talk about the look, the fit, and the feel. First of all, these are super lightweight. Now, if you're one of these people that don't like big, heavy headphones, or you're somebody that's gonna be wearing these for long trips or long periods of time, you're gonna love these. Super lightweight. Again, if you got an East Island size head, you're good to go. And the ear cups. Okay, I can't stress this enough. The ear cups are so soft. Now, I pulled out my Sony's just to do a comparison. The Sony's kind of have a foam feel to it. It feels like there's some hard foam inside of these. But these... They just feel like pillows right here. I love these. Okay, now I'm gonna put these on my ears. Now these are complete over the ear style headphones. Here's how they're gonna look when you're wearing them. Your ear is gonna be completely engulfed in these ear cups. All right, so now let's do a little sound test. All right, so I got a classic song queued up. We got Rick James, Give It To Me Baby. I'm gonna start off with the EQ set to default, active noise cancellation turned off, and maximum volume. Okay, so here we go. One tap for playing pause. I promise y'all I'm not gonna sing. Let's get it on. Okay. <laughs> Hold on, where my microphone at just in case? All right. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, now. Nice highs and mids. Hold up. When I came home last night, you wouldn't make love to me. You went fast asleep. Know what I'm saying, shoes. You wouldn't even talk to me. <laughs> I'm so crazy. Coming home intoxicated. I said, I just want to love you. Okay. <laughs> Give it up, I'm so elated. Give it to me, baby. All right, hold on, let's see some. <laughs> let's try A and C. Give it to me, baby. Now, they actually sound better with A and C on. Give me what like you had it now. Give it to me, baby. Let's try some EQ settings. Give it to me, baby. Give it to me, baby. Okay, so far, rock sounds good. Look hot like you had it now. Give it to me. 
Give me that sweet, that funk, that sweet, that cocky stuff. Give it a minute. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let's try jazz on it. Let's try bass boost. Okay, yeah, you can hear a little more bass. Get that funk, funky stuff. You know what I'm saying? All right, hold on, hold on. All right, bass reducer. I ain't feeling that one. Okay, EQ, the EQ actually makes a difference. Let's try custom EQ. Okay. You see, I already saved it. Okay, here it goes. Yeah, this is the best EQ setup right here. Make sure y'all copy that one. All right, hold up. <laughs> All right, let me pause the music. I will say, for 60 bucks, I can't complain. All right, I can't complain now. I'm not going to try to overhype these like I'm blown away out of my chair. They sound good, though. They sound good. Y'all heard the high voice coming real quick. Let's take it over to, let's try some bass. Let's take it over to Nas. Made you look. Okay, yeah, now, nah, okay. Nah, yeah, this sounds good. Hold up, you see? Y'all hear that? Hold up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hey, uh, oh, okay. Now I was—I gotta take this off my head for a second. You hear how loud these are? They are definitely loud. Now let's get it all in perspective. That's all y'all can step with. Y'all appointed me to bring rap justice, but I ain't five oh. Y'all know it's not yo. Grey Goose and a whole lot of hydro. Only describe us as soldier survivors. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on. Let me hear more. Hold on. Let me hear more. Let me hear more. Let me hear more. Okay, look. I'm from Queens, man. So you know, I'm from Queens, yo. So <laughs> when I hear this kind of stuff right here, the inner Queens comes out. I had to take these off my head for a minute. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, okay? I just hit pause by accident. All right, I'm going to be honest with y'all. For 60 bucks, okay, you cannot go wrong with these. As I was playing with the EQ settings, you know, some headphones, when you change the EQ settings, it makes a dramatic difference. These have made a little bit of difference. Like when you add more trouble, more bass, you can hit a little difference with the presets. Not the biggest deal in the world, but use my preset. Okay, my custom EQ setting, that made a big difference. And it also depends on your streaming service and the music you're playing because I noticed the Rick James, it sounded good. But when I put on this song, all right, this song is mixed higher quality. It, it, it just sounded way louder and way better. Okay, so I would say sound quality on these, I'm, I'm feeling it. 60 bucks, yeah, I'm stamping these down. For 60 bucks, no issues at all. Let's try some more testing. All right, so now let's check multi-point connection. Now, if y'all hear, the music is playing. I'll hit pause. Now let's try the iPhone. And there it is. Okay, so multi-point connection works flawlessly. All right, so one quick side note. Now I'm actually trying these out using an iPhone and they sound pretty much the same, okay? So if you got an iPhone or an Android phone, you're gonna like the sound quality just the same. Let me try some music one more time. Yeah, it's nice and loud, it sounds just the same. Okay, now I'm gonna turn on my active noise cancellation. Hold up. Yeah, okay, yo, y'all hear that? Yeah, it sounds good. All right, so you're going to get good sound on Android or iOS. All right, so now let's check the touch controls. And remember, these are customizable, but here's how I got mine set up. So for the power button, one tap, that'll be play and pause. That'll also answer and end phone calls. Now we got volume up. You got volume down. If I hold, that'll skip to the next song. If I hold it, it'll go to a previous track. And if I double press, that'll be my voice assistant. What's the weather for today? Okay. And if you listen closely, let's exit out of this. Listen to the voice prompts when I hit the A and C button. Normal. Ambient sound. Noise canceling. Okay, so all of the touch controls work perfectly. All right, so now let's check for latency. And what I mean by that is, when you're watching a video, is there any delay from the person's lips to what you hear? Now, keep in mind, you could go to the app and turn on gaming mode. That's going to give you better latency. Not only for gaming, but for watching videos. So let's go ahead and try this out. Okay, watching Netflix, Forging and Fire. Okay. No lip sync delay at all. Perfect for watching your videos. All right, so now let's talk about call quality. Now, I just had a full conversation with Amaya on the phone. I heard her perfectly fine. She heard me perfectly fine. 
The only downside is when I came out with the maximum windage, she did hear a little bit of wind. So she ranked these around a 7.5. But I would say the call quality is pretty good. All right, so now let's check the wired connection. Now the headphones are completely powered off. Watch this. Yeah, I'm playing music. Now watch. I'm gonna unplug these. Now let's turn them on. You see, they completed now. This should they connect to the iPhone. You see, now they're playing Bluetooth from the iPhone. I hit pause. Let's power them off again. Power off. Okay, completely off. Now we plug these in. No battery. And the music is playing. That is pretty dope. Now let's talk about transparency mode and active noise cancellation. Now as far as transparency mode, it absolutely works. But like I said earlier, you're gonna have a robotic tint to your voice, but it's gonna get the job done. You'll be able to have a conversation without taking the headphones off your ears. Now as far as active noise cancellation, y'all know I got three tiers. We got trash tier, okay tier, and top tier. I'm gonna rank these as okay tier. Now they will drown out some of the low end noises, but don't expect to get Sony M5 or Bose Quiet Comfort level active noise cancellation for 60 bucks. Okay, these are just gonna cancel out some of the background noise. Put it on max volume, it's gonna do the best they can, but like I said, it's okay tier active noise cancellation. But for 60 bucks, I really can't complain. And one quick side note, I noticed after playing around with these, they sound better the music quality when you have active noise cancellation turned on. When you turn it off, it seems like it loses a little bit of quality. So I would rock these with the ANC turned on and just rock out. All right, so overall, on a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give the Airfun Wave Pros a major go. And for 60 bucks, as Bob Barker would say, the price is right. These are a nice set of headphones that sound good, everything works on them. And I'd say the most underrated feature is being able to use these wired with no battery. That's a clutch feature right there. They sound good, they're not gonna break your pockets. You got transparency mode, active noise cancellation, you got low latency, you got extremely long lasting battery with fast charge. Like I said, these just work. Anyway, these are the Airfun Wave Pros. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about these. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google Gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys and lap. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I'll see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Enterprise, Spock here. Spock won the beam up. Captain, situation where everybody in the world uses technology and if you're gonna buy some of that technology you gotta understand certain things subscribe to Flossy Carter he does reviews of all the latest technology the iPhones the iPads the galaxies the Samsung's whatever the fuck the beach by that doctor guy and he puts his kitty cat in the videos too for you something to look at you know, I'm an animal lover, so I like that shit. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, the Flossy Carter on the YouTube, the follow button on the Insta face, and the like button on the Facebook. 
Cause if you don't, we're gonna have a fucking problem here. A bad one. Now hit the fucking subscribe button.